Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to scale an imported object into Motion. Let's get started. In this example, we have the Super 3 in Singapore. This model was done in Revit and I imported it into Motion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this into my user library. So I'm going to select this super tree and then I'm going to open scene graph as you can see it directed me to the folder of super tree what you have to do is go to the folder itself and then right click and then add to user library so once you add it to the user library you'll be able to see it there so let's go here user library and then scroll down so we have the Super 3 right now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this and then place it onto my scene. So as you know, scaling an imported object in Twinmotion is different from its native objects. So let me show you what I mean. So here Let's go to Objects, Home, and then we're just going to place a chair here. So once I drag in a chair, you can press the Tab key. To change it to scale which is this icon and then in here you'll be able to change the scale of the object for an imported object for example we're going to add in the Super 3 again. And here, I'm going to drag another Super 3. So the trick is, before you drag the Super 3 or any object, imported object, into your user library to the scene it needs to be you need to change the icon here to scale and then you'll be able to scale it so now I change this to translate I'm gonna add in again Once I press the tab to change it to scale, you will see that it's not editable. So you won't be able to change the scale. And what you have to do is either delete this object again or you can go to the scene graph you cannot select this one as it will not be editable again so what you have to do is you need to select all the files under that folder so i'm gonna hold on shift and then i'm just gonna check which one so here Up to the painted vegetation after that you can see that you will have a square at the end of this line and then you can change the scale after that
So again, let's escape here. So before you drag a super tree, it needs to be on a scale icon. And then you can drag it. And then you can change the scale afterwards. Once you change this, so I'm clicking the tab. And if we go back to scale again, you won't be able to change the scale. So the technique again is click on the object. It will direct you to the folder. You will need to select all the object in the folder and then hold on shift up to the last. And then as you can see, you can change it again. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.